At the moment, we're in Imboda Nature Reserve and we have a square tail kite just up there and both parents are, are there and they've got eggs at the moment, so it's a great spot to be. And, and in Boater, like a lot of other patches of rich woodland like this, do support our threatened species and other species of birds of prey, as well as a range of other species. I'm Stephen Davis, and I'm an adjunct in zoology at the University of New England, but my job is on the local land services bird of prey monitoring project. I'm under contract to find nests of our threatened species which are the three target species are the little eagle, white-bellied sea eagle and square-tail kite. And we may get lucky and find spotted harriers and black falcons further out. The idea of monitoring the nests is to find out how many are successful and how many young they have each year. So we get an indication of how many young birds are entering the population each year. And we're looking at factors that might affect breeding success as well and what determines whether they get young ones off or not. The environment is so far providing what they need in terms of nest sites and food, foraging habitat, so they're still around, but we know they've declined over time. The, the three target species, yeah, they're all listed, so yeah, that reflects the fact that they have declined. But, but so far, the environment is providing what, what they need. Our three target species uh, between them eat a number of agricultural pests. So little eagles particularly like to eat rabbits and the sea eagles uh, take a lot of carp. And um, the kites are more um, specialised on the native uh, woodland. They can catch things in woodland, although they occasionally take a rabbit kitten or a, a small rodent or something. But, but yeah, the, the two eagle species particularly uh, do target pest species. Each territory on a property is important in terms of the overall population level of these birds because they're fairly sparse, fairly thin on the ground, so because they're declining, each territory is important. And it's great that landowners, if they have sort of ownership of a territory, that they're helping to protect these birds and maintain the population.